From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big nine for July 6, 2022, as a recession is underway and American economies are basing the pivot tonight on that looming news. They've embedded the recession into the stock market, the bond market, and also the oil market. And why tonight is it more important than ever before to get that forced to most check on that from the U.S. state. A financial cliff is coming. That is that financial cliff coming sooner because a financial downturn in this economy has already started. A recession may already be here. And the recession is nearly six months earlier on its arrival. Tonight, we'll go over the importance of getting these sports to most checks in every U.S. state. What do you do? Step one, go on to this video, become a member. Step two, say the second half as we go over these sports to most checks in every U.S. state. They're huge, nearly $100,000 for you. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. And if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, we're going to go over those incredible checks in the second half of tonight's recording. But also what's important tonight is the changing focus of what's happening with this economy. We're going to go over where the economy is and where it's heading. A recession is hitting and the impact on stocks, bonds, and also the euro is felt tonight. And that is why things are changing by the minute, by the hour. Meantime, also developing tonight is the Build Back Better Act is heading to the finish line. And the Build Back Better Act its provisions are going to survive, but which ones won't? I'll go over the latest details tonight on what you need to know. But with a recession underway, what did we learn today? We learned the latest comments from the Federal Reserve's FOMC minutes. We learned the latest details from the Department of Labor released minutes ago. And we learned the latest details about how your benefits may go up, but maybe not as much. Gasoline continues to track downward. We'll go over the latest details that you need to know tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, three things you do. Stay over this big one-hour broadcast to the very end because we got more checks. Step number two, subscribe. And step number three, become a member and get those nearly $100,000 for to milk checks from the present by federal stimulus in every U.S. state. It's a big night with a lot of money and the breaking news of Evenings L8 starts right here, right now as Evenings L.A. gets underway for July 6th. And good evening, everybody. It's a big with a lot of money and the concerns about a recession already underway. That's why you can't wait to get that four stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. We're going to go over that big money coming up in just a second. Nearly $100,000. It's federal stimulus. It's not from your states. And it's been law since the month of March. And viewers have gotten it. And this channel has delivered $50 million to its viewers since it launched in April 25th of 2020. And tonight you learn a little bit more about where L8 is headed with the launch of a brand new platform in just days from now. A recession is underway tonight. And let's go over the latest details you need to know about this recession before we get those huge checks in our wallet. Tonight we know that a recession is underway. And we also know that Wall Street believes it's already begun. They're changing their story very quickly. Let's go over the new notion of what happened. Back in February of this year, I said we're going to recession in 2023. I put it at January. At the time, American analysts were not saying recession. In fact, they were avoiding the subject matter at the time. Then, what happened by the last few weeks was that analysts were starting to say, perhaps a recession by late 2023. Then, last Friday, before the 4th of July weekend, the Atlanta Fed GDP Now released its tracking results for the second quarter of this year. They are a tracking tool used by the Atlanta branch of the Federal Reserve that tracks economic growth of the economy. And they tracked the second quarter of this year at negative GDP growth. That is big. Why? 
because a recession is defined as two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. And with that, they projected the U.S. economy is already in a recession. They projected the negative GDP growth of 1% down for the second quarter of this year after it tracked at 1.6% down for the first quarter earlier this year. Not good news, but the question mark was how Wall Street was going to take the news. What happened shortly thereafter? Well, we had a three-day weekend. And after the markets reopened on Tuesday, after the three-day weekend, we were waiting to see if the markets, like ourselves, were going to wait to see if the official announcement of a recession would come not this week, not last Friday with the Atlanta Fed GDP now, but officially from Department of Labor on July 28th. What happened? When Wall Street opened trading on Tuesday, they took the data as you and I did, and they said, a recession's underway. A recession is underway, and I need to pivot accordingly. And that's why stocks fell. That is why bonds fell. And the bond inversion curve, inversion curve happened, and that is why oil plummeted. Let's go over the latest details tonight. The Federal Reserve's minutes released from the June FOMC meeting by the Federal Reserve were tracked out, and they were a shocker. The Federal Reserve met in the month of June. They're meeting just a few days from now in the month of July. But their meeting minutes are not released until weeks later. They were released today, July 6th. And what did they say? In discussing potential policy actions at upcoming meetings, participants continue to anticipate that the ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate would be appropriate to achieve committee objectives. And we believe that an increase of 50 or 75 basis points would be likely appropriate at the next meeting. Good. So we so far know that the next Federal Reserve meeting in just a few days from now will be 50 to 75 basis points. But there's a shocker. They said that one percentage point is potential if this economy continues to track with inflation. Participants concur concurred that the economic outlook warranted moving to a more restrictive policy if the Elevated inflationary uh, pressures continue to persist. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. This is the first time we've heard this from the Federal Reserve since this channel has existed. The Federal Reserve is worried, they reveal in these FOMC minutes released tonight, that the pervasive rise of prices of goods you pay for may embed a psyche in the American public that that is the new price of those goods permanently that you've been paying an elevated price for, let's say, milk or eggs for the last six months, and they're worried, the American public may say, that's just sort of the price of eggs and milks in general. That's what it's going to be forever. They say we need to get rid of that pervasiveness of higher prices immediately. Many participants judge the significant risk now facing the committee of the Federal Reserve was the elevated inflation could become entrenched in the public such that they would begin to, begin to resolve that the committee... Uh, stance on the policy was not as warranted. Basically, they're worried that the American public would be accustomed and happy to pay an elevated price on the goods. And that's why they want to wipe it out across the board. Now, there was some nonsense in there as well, because the Federal Reserve, you expect nonsense. And they said they're expecting the inflation down to 2% later this year. Of course, they're not going to reach that as well. The data tonight is that the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates, and as the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates because gasoline prices are higher, then you go into recession. That is the big problem across the board. It started in earlier this year. As I said, the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates to battle inflation. Inflation caused in part by gasoline prices higher. And if the Federal Reserve continues to do that, then we're going to have big problems. What's going to happen in the next 90 days and what you need to do? First, you need to get as much stimulus as possible. Second, you need to raise your savings. Third, you need to remove any type of adjustable rate debt at home because this economy is changing very dramatically. Consumer spending is shrinking, confidence is shrinking, and so is income. What you need to do is pivot and get ready for the changing phases of this economy. Now, tonight, this is a major shocker. Look how different the reporting is tonight on this channel than last Thursday before that Atlanta GDP Now number was released. Last Thursday, I was reporting that the recession is January of next year, as I reported since February. Then when that Atlanta Fed GDP Now number was released, 
I said, wait a second, they're saying that the recession's already underway, and they have a 100% accuracy rate in the last 20 years. I said, you can't wait to presume the recession's next year, you have to presume it's right tonight. But I didn't know how Wall Street would react to the news. Would they trade down stocks, bonds, and oil based upon that data? Well, tonight, they believe the recession is not in phase three, it's in phase one. That's why you have to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's go over briefly of that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state, which is needed tonight because the recession is already underway. If you did not become a member, go right in this video right now. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then stay the second half as we go over those incredible checks one at a time. But first, let's get a preview of these incredible checks one item at a time. Those incredible checks involve a series of items done by the President of the United States, and they're huge. Those four stimulus checks are, the, uh, are from federal stimulus. They're from the federal government. They're not state stimulus. So it's not from your state legislators, not from your state wallets. Don't like your governor, don't like your state, don't like your state legislators, don't think they're helping you. You may be right. That's not this money. This money is from Joseph Biden. By executive order, done in the month of March. Back in the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you find us money? And I found it. It's a series of checks that amount to $100,000 across the land on average. Now, a couple things you need to know. Number one, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, go get it. It's a series of checks and they average about $100,000 across the land. They've been lost since the month of March, but here's a several reasons why you can't wait. Number one, they've been lost since the month of March and the money is going to run out. Don't wait around to get the money. You need to move very quickly. And I don't mean very quickly several weeks. I mean several days, if not hours. Number two, this money is available everywhere and it pays very quickly and the concern about how quickly this recession is coming, if not, it's already arrived. The concern that this financial cliff is coming, if not, it's already upon us. You can't wait across the land. What is a financial cliff? And what do we know tonight about that financial cliff that is breaking news on so many regards? The financial cliff at issue stems from the concerns about where this economy is shrinking so dramatically, so, mon so monumentally in such a short period of time. The financial cliff was first detailed by Liz Warren and, and Jay Powell during an exchange on Capitol Hill just days ago. When she asked him if his raising up of interest rates at the Federal Reserve would potentially send this economy into a tailspin downward, he said there is the possibility across the land. That financial cliff tonight is not really truly absorbed, understood, or being prepared upon by people who don't watch this channel. I've been warning my viewers this channel, you, if you're new to this channel, welcome. This is LA, America's number three most watched financial news channel in America, that there's a financial cliff coming. I projected as September, but tonight I'm very worried because the recession is really upon us right now, not coming next year. What is a financial cliff? It's basically a change from the status quo, quo to something worse. It's a change from the present, what you're used to, to something very dramatic. And if you're not expecting it to happen, you fall off the cliff. It impacts labor, it impacts savings, it impacts business, and it impacts your money. First, in the case of labor, people are going to be unemployed, lose their jobs, and see a hiring freeze. It's already starting to hit. Tesla, 20% of its, 10% of its workforce, gone. Coinbase, 20% of its workforce, gone. Store closures, like Tesla closing the Silicon Valley branch. Then we have hiring freezes, Tesla confirming that same as well. You can see more hiring freezes like Snap coming left and right. The concern is that Americans are not ready for the reality of a financial cliff. And we learn a little bit about that tonight from a new number from the Department of Labor for Labor. Now, remember, this Thursday morning, morning daylight, live on air at 9 a.m., I have the new unemployment claims for you. It's likely in my projections to come in at 230,000 new jobless claims for a fourth consecutive week. But here's what the Department of Labor Statistics reported Wednesday. Available positions for the month of May fell to 11.25 million, considerable drop from 11.68 million in the month of April. But there was still, on average, 1.9 job 
openings per available unemployed worker. There's currently 5.95 million unemployed Americans in the workforce, but there's 11.25 million jobs available for them. So there's 1.9 to that. They may think that's fine. Here's the problem. It's not particularly fine because those jobs may be gone by the time they're unemployed. And they think that the stimulus of 2020 is still around. It's gone. All the unemployment stimulus gone. All the small business assistance gone. And when they pivot to get that money, they're going to be shocked. It's not there. That's why you have to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get it for several reasons, not just for yourself, but also because those people are going to realize they're falling off a financial cliff later this year, if not later this month. And when they find that out, they're going to come here to this channel to get that money. They're going to be competing against you, Purple Hawks, to get that money. You don't wait because there's going to be a stimulus stampede. You get the money tonight, you become a member. What else do we learn about monies tonight? There's a lot of economies changing so dramatically, and we're going to zoom through them starting right tonight. The Dow Jones and the Nasdaq are relatively flat for the day, but oil traded down about one ten of international Brent crude a barrel. We learned today that the EV tax credit for Toyota is gone. Toyota has sold 200,000 plug-in electric vehicles during the second quarter, so they can no longer offer $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. That follows Tesla and General Motors, who cannot offer that discount as well. This is a part of the course of so many things that are changing left and right. Yesterday, we heard that the concerns of this economy are hitting stocks, bonds, oil, corporate earnings, and even consumer sentiment. Yesterday, the Dow was down 500 points earlier in the day before it rallied up, and that was as bank stocks took a hit, major hit. JP Morgan and Wells Fargo were down 2.5 and 2.7% respectively that day. Airline stocks down 4% because the analysts believe the airlines can no longer get from you $500 domestic round trip. You're not going to pay that indefinitely. The bonds signaled a recession may be underway. When the bond yields inverted, the inversion curve upon us again, that's when the 10-year Treasury note and the 2-year Treasury note invert. That often happens when a recession's underway. Oil prices fell dramatically. Now, this is confusing to a lot of people, confusing to me. Oil prices dropped dramatically in the last seven days from 120 a barrel just 14 days ago to now sub 100. What happened? It's confusing. Analysts like myself and also Goldman Sachs believe that gasoline is going to eventually go higher by the end of the year and track at about $140 international Brent crude. And the comments were, re were repeated yesterday by those individuals at J.P. Morgan, at, at, um, at Goldman Sachs, my mistake, Goldman Sachs. Jeffrey Curry said, financial markets are trying to price in a recession, but physical markets are telling you something really different. What's also telling us something different? Citibank, on the other hand, said, nope. I don't agree with Goldman Sachs. It's not going to 140. It's going the other way to 65. Confusing? Yes. Is this economy confusing? It's hideously confusing. It's hideously confusing. That's why you need to stay with this channel and watch all the new shows on this channel. That's why you need to stay with LA, which has a whole new look coming in less than 90 days. So you know what so you will know more about where this economy is where it's going, and how to get more money. It's coming to this channel in just days. Corporate earnings were taking a major hit as well for, at the concern the recession's already underway as Ford fell 5% on yesterday. Second quarter sales were a big drop. They missed dramatically. And so there you go. Oil, oil, corporate earnings, bonds, and stocks all signaling a recession's underway. What do you need to track and watch this week to get more guidance of whether the recession is underway or is hitting at a later date? We're going to have the number of new jobless claims released tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, morning's at night, live on air at 9 a.m. That number is likely to track at 230,000. Once that number tracks higher above 240,000, get ready for the spooking of the markets because that is where they're going to say, Labor is now getting hurt by Jay Powell. Number two, we're going to see on Friday the non-farm payroll jobs release. And non-farm payroll jobs are expected to track 
much lower than the month before. Now, one of the things I want to make very clear to you when we're talking about non-farm payroll jobs, this is how many jobs are created in the month. Uh, this is for the month of June. They're looking at 250,000 jobless, uh, 250,000 non-farm jobs created in the month of June compared to 390,000 in the month of May. There's two significant events that are going to happen on Friday when they announce that, that news. Number one, Biden is going to come out and be very angry again because he always is. He's always angry when this number is created or released. Why? He wants to see a number that shows a lot of jobs being created. And he doesn't like to hear not a lot of jobs are being created. So there's a lot of reports out there say, what if the number is 250? I think he is going to have something to say, but he's not going to be angry. If the number's under 250, he's going to be very angry. If the number is closer to the 300, which is not going to happen, he's going to be delighted. One strategist says, I think the market's caught between two narratives. At first, they want the hot economic news. Bad was for the Fed. On the other hand, they want it soft. The needle's tracking really hard. But then we have the... The jobless claims, unemployment should slow down from May when it goes to 250,000 contestants or more. It's volatility. It's very, very volatile. And what's also happening tonight? Student loan debt forgiveness. Student loan debt forgiveness has a major news st statement tonight from the White House and the Department of Education. And it's one of the most vague statements ever covered on this channel. <laughs> what did they say? They said, we have announcement. We're not, we're not telling you the announcement. <laughs> What are you talking about, Ally? The Department of Education announced today that student loan debt forgiveness will be announced in the will be announced in the next few days. But when they made the announcement, they did not give the substance of what's going to be revealed. Well, that is ridiculous. Yes. The announcement came today, July 6th, from the Department of Education, and they said the following events will be announced by Department of Education when the student loan debt is revealed. They're going to announce protection of defrauded borrowers. They're going to announce an overhaul of the public service loan forgiveness program. And they're going to announce changes on how interest accrues. What should you take away from this channel? I've been projecting for several months that the President of the United States will, in the month of July, with Nancy and Chuck and all the Democrats around, around his table, sign an executive order forgiving $10,000 of student loan debts for individuals whose debts are $150,000, whose uh, income is $150,000 that year or less. And that will be the end of the equation. The President of the United States already forgave individuals whose debts, whose, whose debts were procured by fraud by the university against them. He forgave debts for individuals who went to work in the nonprofit of public sector after graduation, and he forgave debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation. The narrative has been a big bickering back and forth for many months, with advocates asking for 50000 the president being very clear, he's not going to do 50000 It has remained a question mark on this channel for so long why the president just does, doesn't do what he wants to do and get over with. $10,000 is not a popular number, but that's the narrative. He needs to move on and go to the next subject matter. And the next subject matter tonight is gasoline. Is gasoline. We're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state in just a second. But first, let me go over the situation on gasoline. It's tracking lower tonight, not because there's a deal on gasoline, but because there's a belief a recession has arrived. The reason why your international price of Brent crude, the reason why your gasoline you pay at the pump is considerably cheaper than just days ago, considerably cheaper than a month ago, is because a recession is believed to be underway. The traders of gasoline are betting that demand for gasoline will be lower if a recession is here. And if they're right, then things change. Now, you would know exactly what I'm about to say. Isn't this going to make Jay Powell's job a little confusing? It will, because let's go over the point of what's at issue. If gasoline is lower, then inflation's lower. And if inflation's lower, then why does Jay Powell have to do anything? Yes, big question mark tonight. Gasoline is part of the Consumer Price Index, which is the CPI, released monthly. It's going to be released within days. Now, gasoline charge attract lower in the middle of the month of June. 
in the last 30 days is considerably lower. It was up 38 cents earlier in the month of June, but ended dramatically lower at the end of June. What happens if by the time the FOMC meeting of Jay Powell and team is just days away meets and they see the gasoline prices lower? Well, they have to believe that the CPI is going to come in lower. The inflation of the CPI is going to come in lower. Why would they raise interest rates? Let's look at a graphic I had just a month ago. A month ago, I said unemployment is going to go higher, gas is going to go higher, and interest rates are going to go higher. Not anymore. At the moment, it looks like unemployment is going to stay high, but gasoline prices are falling dramatically. And if gasoline prices fall dramatically, then j shouldn't raise interest rates. Confusing? It is confusing. What you need to know is that those interest rates are dependent upon gasoline, and if gasoline stays higher, then this may be the relief to avoid a recession. Very, very complicated across the board. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over more about this at hand. But what you need to know is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You need to get them. Why? Because the economy is falling apart very quickly. Number two. The Bill Back Better Act is going to get done, baby, uh, but it ain't going to pay your check soon enough because the financial cliff is coming. You're going to go over in the second half with me the benefit rise and that benefit rise and how it's impacted if gasoline goes down. But what you need to do during the commercial break is get ready to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Step one, go on to this video, become a member. Step two, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And step three, stay the second half as we go over those fourth stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Then we'll be turning to the Build Back Better Act, which will give you other checks on top of that. It's a big night, it's a big evening, and it's a big week with a shocker of stories coming in left and right on the, both the recession front, the gas front, and the student loan debt forgiveness situation. We have a lot more to go over, and we'll be turning back to the Build Back Better Act as we have a first look at the provisions that have likely survived the negotiations. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of Evenings LA for a beautiful day along the coast here in Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It has cooled off here considerably. Hope it is nicer where you live. And a financial cliff is coming. You're not going to take the stairs like this cliff has to the financial cliff. You're going to avoid it. And how are you going to avoid it? You're going to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And we're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now and everything you need to know. These four stimulus checks, let's first go over what they are, how they happened, where they are, and why it's a different year and a different way to get money. How are you? The four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are huge, and they were first found by me on this channel back in the month of March. Viewers at the time, taught by me, understood the importance of getting money when times are good. 
You don't wait till times are bad. And they said, LA, they haven't gotten that Build Back Better Act done. It's March. Can you go get us some checks? I looked high and low, and I found you for civil checks. Lots of them. I had a quadruple mandate for myself. I want to make sure it's big checks, big eligibility, easy to get, and available right now. And we achieved it as a family on this channel. Let's go over everything you need to know right now. First, these are checks by the federal government. They are done by executive orders in the month of March. As soon as it became a law, I featured them on the channel. Viewers have been getting them for several months, averaging about $100,000. They're not from your state. They're not state stimulus checks. They're not from your state legislators. They're not from your governor. And when I say they're in every U.S. state, I'm basically saying they're everywhere. I'm not saying they're sent by the states. They're sent from the federal government. Now, number two, eligibility is, eligibility is very important. You generally qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, and if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans, benefits, and more, go get them. Long-time viewer, Katz says, LA, you do eligibility really well. It's important. You need to know that you get this money, that you're eligible. Number three, Carol, long-time viewer, says, LA, you make this so simple. You put it together in a newsletter, and you basically do all the work for the viewers. All they have to do is just click the links and go up live. Absolutely. What I've done is I've put it together in the newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, for members. It's the talk of the town. There's nothing like it anywhere in the landscape of financial news. It's been around for a while. And when you do this, you pounce and get these big checks. Finally, it's important to understand two last things. One, big checks, not small checks. $600, $400, $300, that ain't going to pay anyone's bills. This is a big meltdown of the economy. You need big checks, tens of thousands of dollars. Number two, it's important to remember that you need to get money and continue to get money because money keeps on flowing when you do this. And finally, it's important to remember that this money is going to run out. So don't wait a week, a day. <laughs> well, wait till the end of the video. <laughs> And then you start to pout. All right, you're ready? You're ready to get some checks? I'm ready to deliver you the breaking news. I'm getting these checks lettering systems, and we start with the first check on this channel. It's check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Notice that payout money. Yes, I go for big sums of money on this channel. $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this wonderful check A? And let's look at that wonderful check A. Here it is. That wonderful check A is $6,500 to $12,000. How do you get it? Step one, go under the video and become a member. Join the channel. You can become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP right now. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the membership be the the membership alerts. And then go down to check A and pounce. Get that $6,500 to $12,000. There you go. But you're just getting started. Oh, we're just getting started. You're gonna go get check B. Also. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars for stimulus check at every U.S. state. The first check, check A, is the homeowner's weatherizing grant check. The second one is the homeowner's grant. Single individual, seventy-five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. If you are on benefits, go get it. How do you get this wonderful check B? Same way as check A. Go right into the membership newsletter by becoming a member. Go under the video and join the channel. Click that button where it says join the channel. Then. Become a Purple Hawk member, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the member YouTube alerts. And then go right down that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, and go to where it says Check B. There it is. Click the link. It sends you into the nationwide website. Choose your state. You go into, the into your state, and you pounce. Look how well we have done. We have only done two of them. Check A up to $12,000, check B, $80,000, up to, and boy, we're already at $100,000. We're not just stopping there. No, we got more checks to do. We're going to go get check C. Check C is averaging and monthly stimulus check, $2,000 a month for 12 months on average, but many viewers have averaged about $45,000. 
It's astronomical. And how do you get check? See, let's first go over that. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, go under the video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Cow Sino VIP. Then go down that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to you find Check C, and it'll tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, these incredible Check Cs are probably going to be the most important checks of 2022. Let's see why. Americans who do not know where this economy is, Americans who are not tracking where this economy is, are going to fall off a financial cliff because they believe the assistance from 2020 is still around. That is why you need to get check C's before they do. First, if you're facing problems paying the rent, go get some check C's for rent because there's no eviction moratorium anymore. It's gone from 2020. If you're having problems with a mortgage, go get some check C's. Because mortgage forbearance is no longer around. It's gone from 2020. If you have problems with the utility bill, go get some check C's. Because guess what? The utility bill service can be turned off in 2022. That's gone from 2020. Let's go down the success stories of check C. This channel has gotten viewers $50 million since it launched on April 25th, 2022. And in just days from now, you're going to see the brand new LH 2022. It's a whole new look and a lot of big surprises. But let's look at the big success stories that viewers have gotten for check C's for a long time that this channel has been doing it. These incredible check C's start with rent and viewers have gotten 20 to thirty thousand dollars on rent like Nisi, richard nancy mark elizabeth go get check c if you want that incredible money here are the utilities if you want five thousand dollars like angela sixty five hundred dollars like mark or seven thousand dollars like nancy or mark's brother like a fifteen thousand dollars go get check c's snap yeah mark's brother is getting twenty five thousand dollars a year over ten years a quarter million dollars and there's the combinations. Nisi was at 23000 She's at about 50000 right now. She's in all the live chats nightly. What is she doing? Whether it's Nisi or Mark or Lorraine or Johnny, they're doing all the same thing, which I taught on this channel. You get checks and you continue to get checks. I don't care if you got $500 today, you get $600 tomorrow. I don't care if you got $800 today, you get $900 tomorrow. You keep on getting money. You listen to the videos and you keep on going back and getting money. And let's see what that happened with these people. Nisi went from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 Where do you think Mark went to? <laughs> 166000 And he went to 50000 then 100000 then got check B, 66000 Lorraine, she was at 105 now she's at 150 And she's in all of the live chats like Nisi and Mark and Johnny. And she's now nearly at 150000 Johnny's also an example. Longtime viewer of this channel, he was at zero by three days later. He was at 45,000 by the end of the week. He was at 80,000. He did not make two phone calls. He did not make three phone calls. He made upwards of 18 phone calls in seven days. And he did not stop there. The next week, he helped his two family members, got them each 50,000. The week after that, it started. Over the next month, friends and family kept on coming over saying they had heard what he had learned from this channel. He showed them the videos. He trained them to watch the videos as a team with him, and collectively, they all got about two dozen friends and family neighbors over $300,000 of check seats. You do this as well. Step one, go under this video and hit that subscribe button right now. Step two, go under the video and there's a join the channel button. Push the button and join this channel tonight. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP so that you're a member. You get the membership newsletter Monday through Friday. Step three, go to the Funnels channel. There's a little bell. Make sure you touch that bell and set notifications to all on. And let's go over that newsletter. It's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're not on the West Coast, learn your time zone and adapt it accordingly. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Via the YouTube alerts for members. I write a YouTube alert. It sends you alert as a member at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It says new LA post. The first line says LA newsletter. Go down the alert. It says click here to go to the post. You go to the post and you pounce. You get check A. You get check B. You get check C's. You learn about check C's and you learn about everything else you need to know. Also in the membership newsletter, of course, is the brand new wonderful worksheets. 
The LA Worksheet is among the brand new benefits that members are getting for this channel on a regular new basis. There's always something new coming to members. The LA Worksheet is a series of pages that helps you guide yourself through this economy and through the big money from the federal government. It's a PDF which you can print from your phone if you have a printer, or you can just open it up and take notes on a side piece of paper. And the first page is about inflation, recession, labor, and the Federal Reserve. So you can take notes on those three subject matters. What do we know tonight? Actually, four subject matters. What do we know about those four subject matters tonight? First, inflation. We're waiting for that CPI. We're waiting for that CPI just days away, but now we're wondering if the CPI is going to track lower because gasoline's going down. Recession, what do we know tonight? We know tonight that a recession is underway, but the official announcement would come from Department of Labor on July 28th. We know it's underway tonight because the Atlanta Fed GDP Now tracking tool. We also know tonight that Wall Street stocks, bonds, and oil traders have all embedded recession into this economy and their trading activities tonight. Labor, we're waiting for that new number for Department of Labor uh, tomorrow. 230,000 new jobless claims. And Friday, we're waiting for the new number on the non-farm payroll. Again, we're looking at 250 as a projected down from about 390 the month before. If it's less than 250, it's going to be a shocker. And Joe Biden's not going to be happy. If it's more than 250, then everyone's going to be ecstatic. I don't think it's going to happen to be. It's going to be no, more than 250. And then today, of course, we learned that the number of jobs available in the month of May fell dramatically, but the number of jobs per unemployed person is still 1.9. So about two jobs per unemployed person. And the Federal Reserve, we have that FOMC Minute Notes tonight. First time on this channel, the June FOMC Minute Notes, where they say they're doing absolutely quarter, excuse me, half or three quarters in the July meeting. They may do one percentage point, and they're worried that Americans may get too used to higher prices of goods and get used to inflation. That's why they want to wipe it away very quickly before it becomes too pervasive. The second page of the LA Worksheets is really the one I'm very proud of. Um, this is all created by me for LA, for you across the board, because I care. The second page is a table created by me for you about four stimulus. The first column has the checks. The second column has the date applied, the, the date paid, the periods of payments, the amount, and your name and contact. You need to keep track of when you're paid for. For example, uh, let's use a person. Let's say Nisi got paid for three months of rent for, let's say, February, March, and April. Well, now it's J July. She's going to go back and ask for another few months, and she'll know she has not been paid for this month. That's how you keep track of it. These LA worksheets are going to be very, very helpful for you, and especially this page. Why? You're going to see in a second, we're going to go over the Build Back Better Act, and you're going to get used to keeping organization of your stimulus like this, organization of this economy, because that is what the Build Back Better Act is going to be like as well. That's coming up in a second. Um, let's look at some other pages. Fifth page is your benefits are going up. Let's go over that right now. Let's just jump right to that right now. Your benefits are going up. Now, one of the things we don't, and this page is about fifth stimulus, your benefits are going up. Social Security Chief Actuary Steve Goss says they're going up 8%, and he's looking at the data of the May CPI and projecting out to the July, August, and September, because those are the numbers that determine whether your benefits go up. Now, it was up to last Thursday where I said, Goss is undervaluing it because gasoline's going to go higher. Well, I may not be right because gasoline is not going higher. So wait a second. What does that mean for your benefits? And I know anyone who watches really carefully is probably asking the same question. Ella, can you update me on this one? Are my benefits not going to track as high as Goss is saying or lower than you're saying? If gasoline goes lower, let's go over what you need to know right now. The Consumer Price Index number has a subsection called CPI-W, and, and that number is released monthly. It's the months of July, August, and September that determine how much your benefits go up, the COLA benchmark. The COLA benchmark determined and released at the end of the year is based upon the CPI-W for the months of July, August, and September. Now, SS, Social Security, looked at the CPI-W in the month of May when gasoline was not as high as it is now. And they said based upon what they see in May, they believe that your benefits are going to go up 8%. 
up to last Thursday, I said, hey, this can, because the CPI dash W is dependent upon gas, I think gas is undervalued. I think it's going to go up 9%. So what am I saying today? Well, we got a long way to the end of the month of July. And I got to tell you, if gasoline continues to go down day after day from now into September, you got to hope that Goss has his 8% ready for you because that is a big question mark. The takeaway is that if gasoline continues to track lower, then your benefits would not go up as initially thought by me, 9%, would track closer to what Goss is say of 8%. But again, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening to this economy. Let's go back to the L8 worksheets. The next page of the Allied worksheet is the price of gasoline, which we were just going over. Price of gasoline is um, page six of the worksheet, and that is a very, very important page. Why? Because we need to keep track of the gasoline. Remember, price of gasoline to international brand crude was uh, about $100 a barrel before Putin invaded Ukraine. Where is it tonight? It's back to 100 back to 100 from down from 120. So this is a big shocker and there's been no deal on gasoline. It's gone down based upon a belief that recession is coming. Does uh, does Citibank have it right or do I have it right? Is gasoline going higher with a recession? Is gasoline going down with a recession? It's really hard to predict. And then finally, the last page of the worksheets is the student loan debt forgiveness. So much to know and so little time. <laughs> Let's go to Build Back a Better Act, baby. Build Back a Better Act is back, baby. Uh, and tonight we know a little bit more about the provisions that are in there and the provisions that are not in there. And we also know what to expect with the money. Now, first, the reason why I put Build Back Better Act later in this recording is for obvious reasons. Because the Build Back Better Act is not going to pay you enough money before the financial cliff hits. What you need to do is pivot and get money before the financial cliff hits. Build Back Better Act is not going to do that. When do they expect the vote on the Build Back Better Act? Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer say the vote will happen late July. The Republican, <laughs> Republicans who don't like Build Back Better Act, which is most of them, say that they believe the vote is imminent. So they do believe, most of the people watching the narrative, that the vote is very close. Number two, the negotiations have really solidified a working framework of the Build Back Better Act tonight. Why? Because we have the Four Corners meeting in recent days to solidify a July passage with a smaller bill that still has lots of many different checks. Now, what do we know tonight about the individual checks? And what are we extrapolating from? Let me go over everything you need to know starting right now. First, we have not, repeat not, had any update from the Democrats on the price of the bill or what provisions have survived. So let me just pre-warn you. Chuck Schumer and all the Democrats have never told us what the price tag of the bill is. Is it the $3 trillion? Is it $1.7? Is it the Joe Manchin $1.5? Or is it smaller? The Republicans who want to trash talk the Bill Back Better Act say it's now $1 trillion to $1.5 trillion. Now, the Republicans detail some of the checks that are in there. And basically, they detail all the checks that we generally talked about, with the exception of one or two. That means that the, Republic, that the Democrats, if the Republicans are correct, got all those big checks in there. But certain checks would not survive. Let me make very clear to you. Let's actually go over the checks one at a time to make it even clearer than even uh, going over a summary. Which of the checks do I believe could survive with a $1.5 trillion price tag? And which do I believe are the checks that are not going to survive with a $1.5 or less price tag? First, could fifteen dollars to $80,000 of the total Build Back Better Act survive? Yes, I still believe you're going to get about fifteen dollars to $80,000 all four stimulus checks from the Bill Bapit Act. Remember, these are in addition to the checks I already have for you right now. The checks I have for you right now are from Joe Sabaya. They're from Executive Action. We're going over the Bill Bapit Act checks from Bill by Congress. They're not law yet. 
15 dollars $80,000, yes. Checks that land automatically, fifteen dollars to $80,000, no. You always had to do something to get these checks. And what are the checks? First, $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Yes, at the time of escrow, you would be able to get that money. I believe it still survives. $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people with disabilities. They're not just sending you a check just because you're walking around. They're sending you a check because you're on home health care. Seniors and people on disabilities, that got in there as well. And then the MSC. Depends on how you define MSC. If you define it as monthly stimulus check, it's one narrative. If you define it as multiple stimulus checks, it's another narrative. Do I believe that mul multiple checks are still in there? Absolutely. M multiple stimulus checks are still in there. But what about a monthly stimulus check? It really depends upon the price tag of the bill. If the bill is smaller than $1.5 trillion, there's not a lot of room to get a monthly check in there, but there is a lot of room to get multiple checks in there. And we're going to go over the notion of those multiple checks starting right now. What are these incredible multiple checks? Well, in the first cluster, we have hazard pay. 4, 000, we have the hazard pay. One more year of the earned income tax credit for the central workers. That would be one of those MSCs. $4,000 of elder care. $4,000 to care for young children. Nutrition, $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Home repairs as well. All those provisions are reportedly still in there. Lots of MSCs there. Second cluster, everything is likely gone. Paid leave has been removed, in my opinion, because that's a very anti-Joe Manchin provision. And home repairs is now check A in every U.S. day. We already did that earlier in this video. That's a $6,500 to $12,000 check. And then that third cluster, lots of MSCs, lots of multiple stimulus checks, seniors checks, dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, dental, and uh, also the Medicaid gap fix, and free internet. Well, there you go. That's a lot. <laughs> You feel overwhelmed? I feel overwhelmed. That's a lot of checks in one video tonight. Meantime, if that was not enough checks for you, you can check something else off on your checks. There's a new LA coming. Yes, a new LA light is coming. The LA of 2022 is going to be bigger, bolder, more beautiful, and more shocking than you ever thought before. You know, it's hard to tease things like this and without revealing the entire scope of what it is. But here's what I need you to know. You've asked for a lot of stuff, and it's all getting in there. So all your, all your requests have been fulfilled. If you hope for something for the brand new Light, hope really hard. Dream really hard. Think really big because your dreams may be answered. It's a look that you really have asked for, and it's a comprehensiveness you really wanted. And it's coming. It's big. It's not just a change of a yellow flower to a blue flower, right? <laughs> or a purple flower to an orange flower. It's not as simple as that. It's a lot more than me changing uh, hairstyles as well. <laughs> You know, uh, if Changing Hairstyles was a brand new platform, then we would have a different speaker. But we don't. <laughs> so there you go. The new ally is coming very shortly. And what you need to do is watch the videos. Because there'll be a lot of places to subscribe. What? What is he talking about? <laughs> Stay with me. You're going to be very, very surprised what's coming to this channel. Meantime, the programming continues throughout the night. We have Evening's LA every night at 5 o'clock. Evening's countdown at 6 o'clock. Street and Simulus at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock is extra. 9 o'clock is sunset. And then do not forget early morning's LA starting the next morning at 4 a.m. Plus, do not miss LA Live starting every night live from Santa Monica, California at 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go right on this video, become a member. Get that incredible member newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And watch for that 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time YouTube member alert. Get that force of a check in every U.S. state. And from the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless you. Thank you for becoming part of this incredible family and get ready as this family gets bigger and bolder than ever before. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful night, and stay with Ally for more.